the names of God in the Bible carry profound significance, going beyond mere titles. Each name reveals a unique aspect of God's character and His actions throughout history. For Christians, these names are not just historical references, but are deeply meaningful, offering insight, comfort, and assurance in their spiritual journey. Understanding and reflecting on these names helps believers grasp the fullness of God's nature and His relationship with humanity. Yahweh Rapha, meaning the Lord who heals, is a name that reminds us of God's healing power in all aspects of life, physical, emotional, and spiritual. In the book of Exodus, God reveals Himself as Yahweh Rapha, promising the Israelites that if they obey His commandments, He will protect them from the diseases that plagued Egypt. For Christians today, this name reassures us that God is our healer, the one who mends our brokenness and restores us to wholeness. Whether we are suffering from physical ailments, emotional scars, or spiritual wounds, Yahweh Rapha is the God who brings healing and renewal. Yahweh Jireh, meaning, the Lord will provide, is a name that speaks to God's provision and faithfulness. This name originates from the story of Abraham, who, in obedience to God, was willing to sacrifice his son Isaac. At the last moment, God provided a ram as a substitute for the sacrifice. Abraham named that place Yahweh Jireh to commemorate God's provision. For Christians, Yahweh Jireh is a powerful reminder that God knows our needs and provides for us, often in ways we could never anticipate. This name encourages believers to trust in God's timing and His ability to provide even when circumstances seem impossible. Yahweh Nisi, meaning, the Lord is my banner, is a name that symbolizes victory and protection. This name was proclaimed by Moses after the Israelites' victory over the Amalekites. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites prevailed in battle. And afterward, he built an altar and named it Yahweh Nisi. For Christians, this name signifies that God is our banner, under which we fight our spiritual battles. It reminds us that victory comes not by our strength, but by the Lord's power. In times of struggle, Yahweh Nisi assures us that God is with us, leading us to victory over the forces that seek to destroy us. Yahweh Shalom, meaning, the Lord is peace, reveals God as the source of true peace. This name was revealed to Gideon, who, filled with fear and uncertainty, encountered God and found peace. Afterward, Gideon built an altar and called it Yahweh Shalom. For Christians, Yahweh Shalom is a name that brings comfort. In the midst of chaos, it reminds us that true peace of Shalom comes from God alone. In a world filled with anxiety, conflict, and fear, Yahweh Shalom provides a refuge a place where our hearts can rest in the assurance of God's presence and His peace that surpasses all understanding. El Shaddai, meaning God Almighty, emphasizes God's all-sufficient power. This name is first revealed to Abraham in Genesis, where God promises to multiply Abraham's descendants and make him the father of many nations. El Shaddai conveys the idea of God as the one who is more than enough, whose power is limitless and whose provision is abundant. For Christians, El Shaddai is a reminder of God's omnipotence and His ability to do far more than we could ever ask or imagine. It reassures us that no matter how great the challenge or how impossible the situation, God Almighty is able to accomplish His purposes. El Elyon, meaning God Most High, points to God's supreme sovereignty. This name is used in the Psalms and throughout the Old Testament to describe God as the highest above all other powers and authorities. El Ayan reminds Christians that God is in control, ruling over all creation with perfect wisdom and justice. In a world where it often seems like chaos reigns, El Ayan assures us that God is still on His throne and His purposes will ultimately prevail. This name invites believers to submit to God's authority, trusting in His perfect plan. El Olam, meaning the everlasting God, speaks of God's eternal nature. 
This name is used in the book of Genesis, where Abraham calls on El Olam after planting a tamarisk tree in Beersheba, symbolizing a covenant with the eternal God. For Christians, El Olam is a name that brings comfort and security. It reminds us that God is not bound by time. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In an ever-changing world, the everlasting God remains constant. Offering us an anchor of hope, El Alam assures us that God's promises endure and that His love for us is eternal. The names of God are a rich tapestry of His divine attributes, each one revealing a different aspect of His character and how He interacts with His people. For Christians, these names are not just historical relics, but living truths that shape our understanding of who God is and how He relates to us. By meditating on these names, we draw closer to God, experiencing His healing, provision, victory, peace, power, sovereignty, and eternity in our lives. Through these names, we come to know God more intimately, deepening our faith and strengthening our relationship with the One who is above all names.